in the expressive form. Come sit down. We like to play. Get out. Get out. ever did was on my football profile page but that was I was like when I said what do you do I was like oh I, you know what do I do I don't know I've never I've never been able to I don't know I've never known what to call myself I started doing performance art when I moved to Pittsburgh actually I was like super shy before yeah I was in a band in college called the mafia and I would hide behind the amp and play the guitar hiding behind the amp like this. Yeah. Pittsburgh was like the most welcoming place I'd ever been. I mean, people just wanted to know you. They wanted to hang out. They wanted to make stuff with you and like take walks with you. And coming from somewhere where people were like a little bit more standoffish, I was like, this is like a blanket. Like people just want like you to come in. And it felt really welcoming. And so I stayed. I feel like I just keep spinning this umbrella and every time I spin it, it constantly just needs another coat. Yeah, that's why I was wondering about painting it white first. Oh. And then painting the red over. But you know what? I don't even think it's like, it's in an essence and an idea of a mushroom. People will get it. It does not need to be like. It, we do not need to perfect I can be so literal, but you're right. Do you want to tell the story about how potatoes started? Oh, you tell it. You tell it. You tell it. I'll add in details. You tell. Well, I was started buying a lot of things off Amazon. I mean, not a lot, but maybe like things that I knew I could get from a store pretty easily. Okay. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to just buy the this like fringe off Amazon. Yeah. The <laughs> Um, and I was feeling really conflicted about that. Okay. And I was like, why am I doing this? It's like, I could just go somewhere and get this thing and Amazon's so terrible. And then like the whole Whole Foods thing with like, sh you know, Penn Plaza. There's just like a lot of layers to like the complex feelings with Amazon. And I just got sucked in. Yes. Can I embroider my mother? Yes. Can you? Would you? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, this is the first whole meeting of everybody. This is so exciting. The next time we'll all get together will be December 1st. No, Saturday. Can everybody make Saturday from 4 to 6? Okay. To work on the finale? Cool. All right, well, let's get Pine and Mark and Brick, I guess, just be ready. Well, you know, like, sing how you were singing it. I was like, I don't know, this wasn't exactly what I did last time, but the piece, like, listen to the wind. Listen to the wind. I mean, I think that that's a big part of what I would want to say about my plays is like so much of art does feel exclusive through language, through behavior, through, you know, like the lunch table, just like, nope, can't sit here, you know, where it's like, oh, someone goes to sit down and they're like, no, you can't sit here. You're not like cool enough. You're not wearing the right thing or whatever. Uh, but with my plays, I just, it's all about being inclusive. Oh, no. 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 Uh, 
anybody who says they want to be in it. I mean, people have come up and they're like, I want to be in one of your plays, like after a play. They'll come up and be like, that was awesome. Like, if you ever need someone in the future, you know, holler. And so I think, I mean, anybody who wants to be in it, I've written roles for people just to be in it. (laughs) Be like, if you're enthusiastic and you want to be a part of this, like, we're going to make it happen. It's hard to tell when, when Tree is, like, Tree's always going. She's always making something. I mean, I guess there are times where she's, like, more so behind the computer kind of, uh, uh, writing, but she's like just always making something. So I guess I kind of take take that for granted or take it for just like the norm. Initially, she had told me that I could create one to four pieces mm-hmm. of whatever I wanted. She sent me the script, and all she really said was that sex and color were outlawed, and that I was allowed to do whatever I wanted. It could be, one of her examples was, it could be a cape. (laughs) And I said, okay. Person's apartment in all whites. That's what she told me. Yep. And I mean, well, she didn't give me, I kind of like teased out of her more detailed direction, like, seem like this is like a dystopian future so it should be like futuristic or modern is kind of what we went with um so i said okay and i had been working on stuff so i started the things i was making and then about a month in uh i got an email from her uh asking if we could talk and then when she called me up she asked if i could make a life-size polar bear made out of trash. Um, And she made it sound very nonchalant. Just, just, could you whip up a seven foot tall polar bear made out of trash, life-size, same dimensions. And I said, I don't know if I can do that. One of the 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 uh, (laughs) shirts. It's always like crunch time, you know, because people are coming from like after their days at work and it's been a long day and you know, you're always feeling a little behind. Like, oh my gosh, we open, like, Facebook reminded me that we open in 11 days. And it's like, oh my gosh, we still don't know, like, some songs. <laughs> uh, but it always comes together. I was so nervous. I was just like, I can't make a tree. How am I going to do this? But it looks so good. Spiders are way smarter than you. Yeah, I mean, none of us, it's like, oh my gosh, we need a tap routine. Like, let's tap. And no one has ever tapped before. But it's like, you know, we're just (laughs) giving it our all. And it's like, are we good at tap dancing? Probably not. (laughs) But. hardest part is ending you're just having a good time you're creating it's like really a community and you feel like a family afterwards like every play that you work on with people there's relationships built and you sort of you're like the Lestrega family or the meow family and a lot of people are all of you know have been in a lot of them so I think that ending is hard but Endings, I guess, are always hard. I think the universe is conspiring to make us all happy right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. I 
also got a little sappy in my email, but it's true. There's like multiple people in this room that I've never spent this much time with before. And that is really awesome. I've only seen Janine from a distance. <laughs> That's a, they saw me in a play. It's not like they yeah. just saw me somewhere. <laughs> and they creeped on me. Yeah. No, they were you were in the dreams of what play scouted. Yeah, I got yeah. scouted. <laughs> yeah. Olivia too, you also I feel like I never really hung out with oh, yeah. you. Uh, both yes, honored. <laughs> But I'm just happy everybody said yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, 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 one.
Um, I mean, I think just connection. I want people to have fun. Um, I want people to feel like they can do the things that maybe they want to do. Uh, like my favorite Jim Henson quote is that we create our own realities. And so I've heard some people be like, you have so much fun performing and that you like inspired me to perform. And so I think that just that contagious, like, oh my gosh, if these people put on a play with like no money, like I can, I think that that's, that's a nice idea. Or like that, you know, whatever it is that, you know, they want to do. <laughs> Make a change. What kind of change? I don't know yet. <laughs> Thank you.